to all of you watching. Just want to give, share some thoughts as I'm walking down here to work. And it has to do with Yom Kippur. As we know, Yom Kippur starts this Friday night. And it's very unique because it starts actually on Shabbat, which means that normally we don't we don't fast on Shabbat. We usually push it off. And, and uh, this year, because it does fall on Shabbat, we all fast. We don't eat. Uh, of course, we have the preparatory prepar prepare our our fast by eating prior to its commencement. And so this year, uh, Friday, Saturday, uh, we celebrate Yom Kippur. Some thoughts on that. You're going to see a lot of people prior to Shabbat, Thursday, start uh, swinging the chickens over their heads, saying, Ze um, And just, just to let you know, it's not a tradition among Sephardic Jewelry. Only those who basically have taken on a lot of the Kabbalistic mystical elements, as you've seen, has been influenced by other um, Hasidic and uh, Kabbalistic groups. However, our Rishonim tell us that we are not to do this. We are not to use the chickens to swing over our heads, to think for one moment that these chickens will be the substitutionary sacrifice of our sins. Just quite the opposite. They tell us that this practice is not only not valid, it does not, does not uh, expiate for any of our sins. The only thing that expiates for our sins is true repentance and charity. Sadaka. And these are the elements the Sephardims have always used, Jews in general have always used until the mystical elements creeped into uh, Judaism. And let me say that most of the Rishonim mentions this and says that these are elements of paganism. We can only look at uh, the Santeria religion as a perfect example of our time, how they utilized the chickens in the same way. The chickens were never used in the temple period. And there's a lot of reasons why not to copy uh, this practice and not to imitate it. The purpose of the sacrificing of the chickens were initially to evoke a feeling of repentance and give the chicken as food to the poor. Obviously, this whole practice has been turned upside down and where people drove by drove thinking that, oh, I've got to step on the chicken and I've got to make sure my, the chickens carry my sin. And they look at the chicken all beat up as it were carrying the loads of sin. My friends, this is a replica of a paganism of the, of the first century, of the current century, and those who practice it is basically are practicing this out of ignorance and instructions of the leadership who wish them to practice it. And unfortunately, ignorance is a big problem even among our Jewish community, no matter how religious they may be. And this is the reason why our sages tell us not to practice uh, the, this ritual. Number one, chickens were never used in a temple. Number two, temple is still uh, destroyed. In other words, the ceasing of the sacrifices had ended in the first century. Number three, this type of sacrifice does not pay for your sins, does not uh, expiate for your sins. If you want something to evoke a feeling of repentance just look around us just look around yourself around your your, your whole neighborhood people dying N nature has destroyed the elements if anything that should evoke a feeling of true repentance that God basically has sent a message to us all it's time to repent now keep in mind our sages tell us that the repentance only forgives sins between us and God. But those sins that are committed against one fellow human being against another, that must be resolved in order to achieve true repentance. That means if you have a brother, sister, family member, a friend who have transgressed, you go to him, you go to her, you tell him, look, you've done this. They don't repent or they have a problem of denial their sins will not be forgiven. We should be freely open to forgive anyone who requests it from us. So in that spirit, 
I say to all of you, forgive me. Have I sinned against you? Have I done something wrong against you? And equally same, when you ask and request the same, it will be granted as well from my side to you. I wish all of you a safe Shabbat Shalom. And remember, why use chickens when they don't do nothing except feed the poor? For that, you might as well buy them a, a nice dinner. And in that, uh, that's tzedakah. As it says in Proverbs 10, Mishle 10, that charity saves from death. Shalom, shalom. Just some thoughts for Yom Kippur.